Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Today we are taking on this 20 star galaxy, which is... Ghostly Galaxy. Hope you're all, you know, firmly in your chairs because this, you know, this galaxy could be so scary that you'd be right on the edge and then falling off of them. Luigi and the Haunted Mansion. Why Luigi? That's kind of weird. I didn't realise Luigi was in this game. This is a Mario game, but yeah, sure enough, Luigi is in this game, trapped in a haunted mansion. I don't know what it is with Luigi in haunted mansions, but he seems to have a lot of trouble with them, usually. Luigi's Mansion is what I'm referencing there, if you've ever played that game. It's a good game. But for now, we need to just use this launch star from this green star shroom. Again, the toads have kind of expanded their fleet again, which is kind of cool. That's something not too many people know about. If you go over here and break this rock, there'll be a rainbow star inside of it. So if you use that, turn into Rainbow Mario, you should be able to kill these Goombas and stuff. It'll be a fun time. Probably not going to bother. I'm definitely going to beat a spider there. Now, why this is really useful is that there's a massive chain chomp here. So we can actually just destroy that. And there's also a boo here. If you destroy him too. And if you go up here, another boo should come out of this painting. And if you can destroy him, that'd be very useful. In fact, you actually meant to... You're not really meant to use the rainbow star to take him out. You're actually meant to go over here, hit this switch, and then make this light appear, and then you lure the boo into the light. You can actually spin them around and throw them into the light as well. That's how you're meant to do it. But I did it the rainbow star way, because I'm crazy. But yeah, once we've done that, we can go through here, and in this room there are five star chips for us to collect. First one's over here. Well, there aren't really... You know, there isn't really a particular order for them, it's just whichever order you pick them up in really is the order that they're given. There's one here. I believe there's another one down here. Yes, there is. We can probably get it from this floor. And then there's only one more, and it should be on the ceiling. Because we're dancing on the ceiling. What a feeling. Launch star where the black hole was. Because this game likes to reuse spaces. Because we're in space, maybe that was an intentional pun, but I'm probably just going to say it wasn't because it wasn't really intentional. I, I don't know. So anyway, we can use that launch shot to get up here, and these like lantern thingies will throw star bits into the air. Except it's not air, because we're in space, but into the into the vacuum. And then we can get those. We can also get this key if we fall down. Whoa, kind of a close call there, but we just made it. And in here is a really cool thing. Well, not these boos, although they're okay, I suppose. Uh, I'd like to kill them, because I want a coin. Come on, you you totally went in the light there. You should have died. You are toying with me now, boos. Okay, there we go. Two coins, just what I needed. So now, if we go over here to this giant gold coin, we unlock another power-up. This time, we can turn into a boo ourselves. Just a boo with a Mario hat and a moustache, which is kind of cool. If you go into the light, then the power-up will be deactivated. You can shake go invisible. You go over here and you have to press keep tapping A to move up. There's a gold coin here, so if we collect that gold coin then come on, gold coin, get it. Then a one up should come out of that painting. And I believe you can press hold Z to fall down, so that's general how you manoeuvre with Boo Mario. And obviously when you're invisible like that you can actually go through grating like that and stuff. It's a fun time. Go through here. And this time I actually want to come turn back into normal Mario, because over here is Luigi, and Luigi would be quite scared if a boo just crept up into him. But with Mario, he's, you know, he's more familiar. Bro, he finally came. I got lost with the toads. It was terrible. I know. Toads suck. Being lost with anyone would be fine, but with toads, it's just terrible. And he gives us this power star that they found, which is very handy. So yeah, this introduces Luigi into the game, and Luigi will come in handy more later, as will be explained from pretty soon. So after that star, if we go over to the garage, or the garage, if you're from up north like me, then you'll find Luigi. Let's talk to him. Hey, Luigi. Luigi, I want to talk to you. And he says, bro, you're looking for power stars, right? Let me help. I think you might have missed one in the Good Egg Galaxy. If I find it, I'll write you a letter. So sometimes Luigi will find galaxies themselves, and then you can go to there. You'll be alerted by a letter, like he said. Apparently, the Mushroom Kingdom hasn't you know, discovered email yet, or texting, or anything more immediate than snail mail, also known as the postal service. But you know, Comet Observatory have a pretty good postal service, so it shouldn't take too long for us to get that. So let's see if I can do my jump. Yes, I can. And now we can just go back to the kitchen, and oh, hey, 
I never even knew that move existed. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, after discovering that move, we can go back to the Ghost of Galaxy and let's see what star awaits us there. It is a very spooky sprint. I wonder what that could mean. Maybe the ghost of Usain Bolt, even though he's not there, is going to race us here or something. But maybe not. We'll see. Maybe it's that guy. Guy with a helmet. Now, I'm not sure if that helmet's for sporting purposes or for, you know, different purposes. Special purposes, shall we say. So anyway, we land on the Star Stream again. We can just take this launch star over here. But instead of there being a bridge, there is now some pool stars, as you can just see there. Doesn't count as a spoiler if you can see them. Okay. Okay. So if we just go onto these pool stars, we need to get used to pool stars. We'll be using them quite a lot in this star. And then let's go over to this launch star. More stars. Pool stars. Launch stars. Cosmic stars. On oh, hey, some star bits coming out of these lanterns again. There's also some star bits on these trees here. Kind of missed them, but oh well. I want to get them. I don't know why the trees are smiling, that's kind of creepy. So anyway, let's talk to our special friend here. Hey, so you're after it too! Well, you have to race me for it? Sure. Okay, so this can actually be kind of difficult. There's not really much room for error on this race. Even though it says 1 minute 30 there, he will get there in more like 1 minute 10. So, just be wary of that. But I'm making a decent start. Just basically use the momentum to guide your way through. Try not to get hit like that onto these meat things, whatever they are. Not sure what that has to do with the theme of the galaxy, but okay. So yeah, just keep going. Try not to hit too many things. Too many obstacles will slow you down. Like I said, there's really not much room for error here. Usually with these obstacles, I just kind of like to go towards them instead of using the momentum, just because I'll probably last longer. Definitely, definitely go to this sling star, because it's a great shortcut. It'll take you all the way over to around this, around this corner. Around that dog leg turn, or whatever you call it in golf, I don't know. It's not really, I mean, it kind of is a dog leg turn. Depends what kind of dog, really. And then we can go to here, onto this planet. I was kind of scared that I wouldn't actually fall onto that planet then, but I managed to do it. So anyway, go around here, avoid these. Whoa, shit! Get on there, get on there, get on the no! Oh, I, okay, I've probably lost now. There's probably no way I'm going to do that. So yeah, that's what I'm saying, there's hardly any room for error on this star. I mean, if you make one mistake, like that, then you're pretty much screwed. Maybe a minor mistake, like hitting the obstacles won't matter, but a major one like that definitely will. So yeah, it looks like I have to retry this, because apparently we actually... Do we lose a life? I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, we lose a life! He just kills us right then and there, because we didn't beat him in a race. I mean, what kind of sick bastard is this? But luckily it respawns on this planet, and then we can have another go at it. Let's see if I can do it this time. Whoa, looks like I did that in record time. One minute three! If you can beat that, then send me a picture of it or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so one minute three. That's pretty quick. I'd say so, if I can, say so myself. And I like the way his arms kind of like stick out the helmet. That's, that's cute. So yeah, our special friend gives us a star. Thank you very much. And now we have a letter from Luigi. Finally sent us one. Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me. So, you kind of have to play a little Guess the Galaxy game. That was good Egg Galaxy. So, let's just head right there, which is in the terrace, of course. So, as you can see, there's like a little question mark with the Dino Piranha mission, which kind of is a clue as to where Luigi is. So, if you go into the mission, you can see Luigi is on top of that house again. Well, not again, but he's on top of the house that we've been to before, so I guess it's kind of again. And we can just use that trick to get up there, and we've already finished the star already. <laughs> that is all there is to it. Some of the later Luigi stars, yeah, there are more. Will be a bit more complex than that, but that one is very, very easy. And Luigi gives us a star that he's been holding on to, and that is the end of that. Now back in Ghostly Galaxy, there's actually a secret star for us to get. If you select the Spooky Sprint mission again, but instead of actually going to our helmeted guy, that kind of sounded a bit weird, but we don't need to go there. Basically, if you're over here, you'll see there's like a sparkly rock next to the Rainbow Star Rock. In fact, I will get the Rainbow Star anyway, just because Rainbow Mario is really cool. 
and it'll look cool when he's flying through the air, because in this rock, kind of bringing my timing here, these bats, there is a launch star, so let's get into that, maybe get some of those star bits if possible. See, look, Mario, when he's rainbow, it's really cool when he's flying through the air, and here, it's like a really cool place. Basically, the platform kind of moves, well, the platform that you can stand on moves, and you can get around places, let's see if we can get this key. I am probably not going to survive. Come on. Oh, okay, I died. But it should put me back right where I was anyway, so it's not too big of a deal, even if I do lose a life, but, you know, get a life, man. Mario really needs to get a life instead of making all these games. Let's see if we can get it from here. Yep, I'm determined to get that key without having to wait for the next cycle. By cycle, I mean like little cycle of that platform moving. Don't want to be waiting for that. And this gold coin should activate this platform. It kind of goes narrower there for whatever reason. And then does it... Yeah, it goes over here. And now there's some stairs, so things get really complicated with this. Not that complicated. And this has some star bits in if you like collect them. I'm not going to be collecting them all because I'll probably end up dying. Dying is bad. So anyway, we kind of need to just follow the route here. It kind of goes around a house in a way. Oh, gee, what? Ri really? I tried to spin to get back up, and then I ended up getting a boo, and then the boo kind of messed me up. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Will these boos please go away? they are kind of double teaming me here, and I'm kind of disorientated. Especially since the camera just zoomed in, that doesn't help at all. That makes it much more difficult for me to traverse these platforms. And great, now there are three boos. This is not booed, get it, because it's like good, but with boo instead of goo. I, I, I don't know, I'm just being ridiculous now. But we can actually activate that golden coin, which will allow us to activate this golden coin, which activates this moving circle. This time we need to go up instead of like across or... No, please don't die. No, oh, come on. Why am I having so much trouble with this? This is not difficult. But I believe there was like an invisible checkpoint there, so we should be okay. Yes, we are. And we're going to get those two star bits again, which is fun. And also the golden coin. Yeah, a lot of star bits here. You kind of need to be a bit quick on this. Don't want to be wasting no time getting around here. Opening a door, that gives a coin, not particularly useful. So if you took damage against the booze, then there's a coin for you. And hey, there's a floating one up. I'm not sure what that's about. Or am I sure? Because I may have played this before. That was an, un an unintentional rhyme. So yeah, there's a one up in that door. That was why we could see it already, because the door hadn't really been rendered, I suppose you could say. Well, it had been rendered. It just wasn't shown on the screen. So anyway, another key there, and we should be able to get a star from the last door to open. That's the end of that. Next up on our list of stars to get is Beware of Bouldergeist. Bouldergeist will be a pun that will become quite evident later. But first we need to get to him, which involves traversing all this, you know, all these planets. Look very dangerous, but we'll see about that. And again, we start off on the Star Shroom, but this time it takes us kind of more, you know, on a more direct route. We don't need to go to that little planet thing. Well, we kind of do, but it's just, it looks different, I suppose, so it's an illusion of us, you know, being in a new place, I suppose. But hey, the chain jumps back. This time I don't have the rainbow star, so I'm just going to hop onto this little platform here to avoid it. And holy bats! That is a lot of bats. But let's just ignore them. I mean, I'm sure the parrots are dead anyway, so they've been through enough already. And this is the introduction of these black boos, I guess you could call them. Basically, they're bombs. So if you get this one to follow us, then we can swing him round into this Bowser statue, and that will allow us to get to that launch star. We'll be using those for something later, we'll see. But for now we just need to go over here and through this little, what was that, like a shell of a planet or something? I'm not sure. Do planets have shells? If they do, then that's one, I suppose. So we can spin there, like a little circle thing. I believe I've mentioned those before, how they act as things to get star bits from. What am I trying to say? So we can get into this sling pod and sling... Oh! What? Really? How did you hit me? You were miles away! That is ridiculous! But luckily for me, it just puts us back here, so I suppose it's not too big of a deal, but I'm still kind of miffed about that. 
Miffed is a good word. Let's just kill these. Oh, really? How? These guys are just destroying me. And just jump on it, please. <laughs> Instead of jumping over it, that doesn't help anyone. Okay, so this time I've killed him, so we shouldn't have any trouble from him. Go okay, here, we can spin again here to get even more star bits. A lot of star bits around here. And I didn't want to wall jump off that because that could prove to be devastating if we just wall jumped across the planet. Like, off the planet. Off com. So yeah, we can. Oh, maybe not. Spin into the launch star, please. Get some of those star bits, maybe. So anyway, up here there are five star chips. This time they activate pool stars. So let's see if we can get those. Using these sling pods. They kind of move around though, so... Oh, I've got two in one. That's not bad. Take that any day of the week. Let's just go down. We don't want to go into that sling star just yet because... Well, we don't want to fire into it because we need to use the sling star, is what I'm trying to say. So we do want to use the sling star now, but okay. You know what I'm trying to say, or you don't. In which case, I don't blame you. So this time we need to go over here, and that will allow... Oh, we can get to them from here, actually. Let's get to that sling star. Pool star, I mean. And then to this launch star. So many stars. Never seen this many stars in one area before. Apart from in the sky at night. But that doesn't really count because that's not in a video game. And video games are everything, really. Not really. But we can get that. And as you can see, there's a launch star over here. We got that one up. It's like a little bouncy ball in the middle of a planet. I'm not sure how that works. I mean, I don't know. Well, I suppose it's just made of some bouncy material. So anyway, we go over here, there's actually a boss up ahead, which is why this shopkeeper's here, but I'm not going to buy anything off him, because I want to do this without taking any damage. We'll see if I can. And this is Bouldergeist. So yeah, he's a poltergeist made out of boulders, which is where the name comes from. And he spawns these rocks, the black rocks, which actually spawn these black bomboos. Bomboos. So yeah, I've hit him twice there. Two hits for the price of one, which is good, because getting hits early on this guy is very handy. And I think the gold ones spawn coins if you need them. I don't really need one right now, but if I did, then I'd know where to go. So now we've defeated his shell, takes three hits. We can actually hit his vulnerable body with another one of those bomboos. And this time he regenerates with... Hands! As usual, you know, bosses in Nintendo games have the, the central body with two hands. That happens in, like, loads of Nintendo games. I uh, don't care to name them all, because I am concentrating. Concentrating on killing this guy. Now, you can actually hit his hands to get rid of them, get, get them out of the way if you want. But I'm just going to try to hit him. Oh, this is a tough move. Hey, he defeated the booze. That was bad. But yeah, when he does that, if he just go close to him and should be able to avoid the hands. Just don't stand in the shadow, basically. It's kind of common sense. So that's one hit. Two more, and then you should... Oh, God. Oh, come on. Like, the edge of his thumb hit me. That is... That is cheap. I don't accept that as a hit. But okay, it's not too big a deal. I still have two units of life left, so I should be okay. And he also does a punching maneuver. This guy... This guy has a lot of tricks up his non-existent sleeves. And hey, he's giving me tons of coins. I guess that's nice of him. So thanks for that dude. But I'm not even going to take them. I'm crazy. That actually can just few hits, which is good. So now we need him one more time and he should be done for. Alright, no need to make such a fuss over it. You lost fair and square, buddy. But anyway, he leaves a star behind for us. We are the heir to his possession. Which is that. Also get some of these star bits, why not? And now, there's a Daredevil comic in orbit of the Ghostly Galaxy. And since we just did a boss battle, I'm sure you can tell what the Daredevil comic is for. And that's right, it is for Boulder Guys Daredevil Run. That is pretty scary, because that this is actually a really tough to star, to be honest. Which is why I was trying to do it without taking any hits. So I would be able to do it again pretty easily, maybe. Although in my practice run I actually did this first try, which is awesome. But I remember the first time I actually did the star, so many years ago, it actually took me a long time, because it's can, it can be really difficult. But once you know his patterns, it shouldn't be too difficult. 
We need to... <laughs> kind of said difficult there twice, kind of weirdly. But anyway, we will take you out, Mr. Bouldergeist. Mr. Steven Spielberg, maybe. I preferred Bouldergeist 2 anyway. I said Bouldergeist, I don't know, unintentionally there. Come on, two hits at the start. Again, crucial if you want to be taking this guy out without taking any hits. Which you do, because that is how you get the star. Unless you don't want to get the star, if you're kind of weird, I suppose. Maybe if you're not getting 120 stars, it doesn't really matter to you, but it doesn't matter to me. So yeah, we've already taken out his first phase, but again, that is the easier phase, so we're not really in a clear just yet. We're in the opaque. So yeah, now he has two hands. We can give him a high 10, but instead we're going to give him some bombs. Which will hopefully kill him. So yeah, look at these spawning rocks. It's a hand maneuver that really gets me, as you saw last time. Of me fighting this guy. Come on. Yes, two hits. Again. That will be very useful. Let's just get close to him. Let's go avoid those hands. Come on, spawn some rocks. Yes. He's spawning rocks, and there's one bomb. Yeah, just one. That should be enough. Come on. Yes! Okay, it's easy from here. All we need to do is hit him, and then that's it. I've done this first try, twice in a row. There it is! Booyah! So he dramatically dies again, exploding into another star. So we've been recording quite a long, quite a long time. So I'm going to end this off. I'll see you next time, where we'll be taking on the next galaxy of the kitchen. <laughs>